Awesome. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I click it. So as soon as I see this rainbow thingy, that's mean I did click it. And again, keep in mind, this is the base model. I am recording this. Holy cow! That is quick! <laughs> Hello professionals, this is Adam and welcome to the lab. We will be testing Unity and Unity the hub that I will be testing is 2.5.4 and simply that is the Intel version, not the beta version for the Apple Silicon which I will be testing in a future video. That's why you should subscribe and hit the like button and let's aim for 300 likes with this video. So get your friend to like, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mother, your grandma, I don't know. Let's get the likes to 300. What I have right here is the memory used. I have 11 out of 16 and I have what is cached is two gigabytes and I have swap memory one gigabyte and simply the goal of this is to simulate or simulate a very uh, practical uh, let's say uh, usage uh, scenario where I do have around 23 apps running and I do have a music which is plastic love by uh, Maria and that's the cover it's running in the background on a loop and I am listening to it and enjoying this music and then I do have my terminal running just to keep track of my my code as well as for the specs of this 14 inch macbook pro this is the m1 pro the base model that runs for two thousand dollars with 512 gigabyte ssd the eight core cpu 14 core uh, gpu as well and you can look up uh, the space yourself as well or you are seeing them right now on the right side of the screen keep in mind i am recording the screen so that might take some of the ram but what we will do first is we will go ahead and then open a project so here's what we will do i will time it from the time that I click open a project or not. And the project is the creator kit puzzle. So three, two, one, here we go. So that's one second, two seconds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, I have not opened that project at all. This is the first time that I am opening and importing the project. That's why it's taking some time. Even though opening the project does uh, depend a little bit on the internet connection that you have as well. But we are taking that into uh, consideration as well. So we will see what the total result will be after this is being built up. And I just stopped the timer right now and the project is open. So it opened in a total of one minute and one second for a project to be open from the complete uh, let's say beginning and that's good that's not bad by any means one minute and one second for a project that is completely built which is I believe the project is around 14 gigabytes so that's actually really good now what we will do is we will build the project so I would go ahead and do command B and then the save will be on desktop and I will just name it YouTube test and then from the time that I click save to the time that this would run we will see how much that would be taken in order to build the project and we can actually play with it a little bit so I am actually really excited this is the first time I'm doing this so let's see three two one here we go okay and I did a click save. Yes, I did a click save. I do see. Oh, the music is stopped. Interesting. I want to see what do we have on the back, but I don't want to mess around with it. So we have 15 seconds so far. And we are building a project from scratch. That is a very big project and it's a complete game. And we are right now building the fp and we are getting through the past the music has stopped for some reason keep in mind we are recording the screen as well and i you know what let's let's go ahead and take a look at the activity monitor so the activity monitor is at 13 wait wait wait, wait. did the project build oh no not yet so what we have the music started scratching you know what i'm gonna stop it okay the music went back to normal okay the project is done <laughs> So, I would shave two seconds because I was just going all over the place. I want to do that again, but I want the music in the background to be off. I do think the music had something to do with it. But regardless, let's take a look if we go ahead and open the project. Wow, this is running smoothly as it should. Yeah, this is running 60 frames, no problem at all. And, wow. Yeah, the, wow, this is beautiful. And again, I am recording the screen as well. So, he, he, he. There is some delay from the time that I hit the space till the command would be um, registered. So, there is some 
delay on the end. Oh, now there is no delay. I guess it just needed some time for for it to understand what I am saying, maybe. The project is working as it should. We are getting 60 frames per second, and it did build the project in roughly 50 seconds. So what we will do, I will close. I will not close the browser, but I will just close the songs that I have in the background. So what do I have right now is just one tap. I turned the background and music and everything, and now I just have um, this looking at it. So what would happen is I will build the project for the second time. What I will do, I will close this and I will click forget. So I don't want to, anything to be registered. And so far we are at five seconds, seven seconds. And this is going on a faster rate than with the music was in the background. I think the music had something to do with the code being compiled in the back because again this is just me building the project and i did a click forget and this is way faster than how it used to at the very beginning and that's a good sign as well the project is open right now and it only took 38 seconds to open the project and keep in mind this is the base model this result is actually very 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 good for unity and it definitely shows that unity runs better than unreal engine but again i do believe that the music and youtube running in the background when the c sharp um was compiling and everything it had some issues so what we will do we will reset that and then this time we will build the project to run it I will definitely do desktop again and then YouTube test um, number two and then we will click save and with the save we will hit start so three two one let's go I'm excited for this awesome yeah I wanted to make sure that I click it so as soon as I see this rainbow thingy that's mean I did click it and again keep in mind this is the base model I am recording this holy cow that is a quick <laughs> bananas we are 17 seconds in and almost the whole thing wow yeah you definitely don't have youtube in the background um doing things because that would interfere with uh, the compiling of the shaders and again i did a click forget this is not something that has been built and we are running through it again so we will see how much this would take okay that took 48 seconds and by the time my hand got there i would say it's a safe 47 seconds but let's go with that number so 48 seconds that is way less than what was it the first time one minute and one second i believe it was around that time so definitely this time that we are having right now is way better and i can move back and forward there is nothing it, it's running um with ease so we will close that project and we will close that project and we will do forget and then what i will do you see those tests right here i will just move them to trash and i will just do t the test again without the screen recording to see what would be the result so take so this time i am not recording the screen we will see how much time it would take to open the project so three two one here we go five seconds in 10 seconds in and the project is open and we are looking at 36 seconds i guess that's two seconds better than how it used to so not a huge difference but definitely not recording the screen did improve the performance so right now what we will do is we will reset all those times and then command b in order to build and then test uh youtube number three desktop so we will see how much time it will take for the third and last time at least with this project then i will do one more project and we should be done so three two one here we go okay that did not run three two one here we go did i click it yeah i did click it okay yeah it's always takes a second to run and it's a bit scary but let's see 
Wow. Oh, my goodness, that's so fast. Holy cow. 60 seconds in and this thing is a flying like a banana. What the heck? Okay, let's see how much. Okay, so that took around 43 seconds. I was just a bit late to uh, press. So let's see. First time, I believe it took around 48 seconds. The second time it took uh, 43, or you can go with 44 if you like. So definitely not recording the screen is way better. And the performance is still the same. I can do exchange between the stuff that I do have open. If we go to the activity monitor, the activity monitor is peaking at 13 gigabytes out of 16 gigabytes. So the final conclusion, for this is if you want to use unity and even if it's unity the version that is for intel with the very base model macbook pro 14 inch i will say and hear me out i don't say that a lot i will say actually go with it it works just fine uh, the fan did not even run and the device is not even warm the device is cold um, the fan did not kick, not only even once. And the game, by the way, is still running in the background. And I forgot. Um, and it's that is smooth. My only recommendation would be, um, try as much to get maybe 32 gigabytes of RAM because peaking at, uh, 11 to 13 gigabytes that's not very healthy because you do need some room for the um, object that you are working with with unity so because keep in mind that the memory is shared between your gpu and your ram so it would be nice to have extra ram to go with so what i would do is this base model i would just go to the 2500 model instead of the 2000 so i would have one terabyte ssd and i would have a little bit extra better gpu and a little bit extra cpu and instead of eight core i will get 10 core and then i would keep that device for the next five years with using unity um no problems because i think with this you will i outgrow it in about two years especially since unity is very user friendly when you are learning unity or if you are using unity professionally which means your games will grow and you will, as a professional, keep creating things. And remember, as I always say, we don't pay for if it's going to work. We pay for it so it can actually work. And that's why I do recommend Macs and I do recommend Apple products rather than anything else. 